Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your friend, host, design tutor Ankit Parikh. And today we will be learning how to create a cool looking kaleidoscopic animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we will be creating a new composition. I'm gonna name it render 1080 by 1080 pixels as usual and we will keep the duration to 1 minute 30 seconds for now and hit ok when you have the composition ready we will be going to google chrome and be searching street at night on unsplash if you don't know about the unsplash it is not sponsored by the way you can find free to use stock images in there we will be down using this image for now I'm gonna download it for free okay I'm gonna put the link to this image in the description if you want it now we're gonna click and drag it to After Effects put it on the composition right click go to transform and fit comp to it it is gonna look something like this when we have the composition ready go to effects and preset panel and search for cc collider drag and drop it onto the image and you will see it in action we're gonna change the size to 100 now we have a problem and the problem is that it is not yet centered so what we can do is go and turn on the title X action safe select the effect and make it in the center we can change the orientation and size however we want I'm gonna put it in the corner for now so now all hit hold alt on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch right in front of the rotation and we're gonna type in a little expression here that would be time asterisk and 30 if you play it now it will look something like this I know if you like it or not but I don't so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the mirroring from flower to stylish because that looks amazingly trippy uh, it looks amazing to me one more thing you're gonna go here and change the center to the center so it looks a little more dramatic you see that huh? one more final trick before we end it is that we can add CC radial fast blur onto it and change its zoom to the brightest only increase it 75 and now it's gonna slow it's gonna make it slow a bit but yeah it will look amazing I guarantee that so it's gonna look something like this you can try it with different images but make sure that image whichever you're using it has a lot of light a lot of details in it so it'll look cool and this is it for today guys i hope you liked the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something from it and if you're learning from it and you're making something and if you're posting it in social media don't forget to tag me there i'm known as at the rate a dot good dot designer on instagram twitter and facebook so see you soon